Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very special taste tour. We have someone here who has not been featured for a long time. We are very happy to welcome back Mr. Brian Berta, aka Taz. He seems very happy to be here as well. It's also 4th of July. It is 4th of July, so we've got a and lot of great stuff coming your way. Driving. A lot of good drinks, a lot of uh, fun stuff. So, yeah. anything to add? No. Ready to go? <laughs> you guys ready? Everybody ready? Yeah, All right. So. Yeah. So this is, uh, we did one of these a, a while back. Um, it was a, Enjoy By December 26th, I think it was, a Christmas time yeah, yeah. one. Uh, so this is the Stone Enjoy By 7-4-15, July 4th, 2015, which is today, so we kind of had to do it. This is 9.4% alcohol by volume, IPA, obviously. You have in your hands a devastatingly fresh double IPA. Freshness is a key component of many beers, especially big, hoppy IPAs, but we've taken it further, a lot further, with this one. They brewed it specifically not to last. And that's it. Okay. Yes. You don't know where you're <laughs> You're already boring us, Eric. Wait a minute. Let me read it. That's just so good. Actually, your readings on some of them were pretty good. You remember we, had the, uh, we had the intros with um, Gordon Beach. With Chuck and Goby. Chuck and style people. Remember we did the episodes with Mike and Goby and you did the intros? Oh, yeah. Like a cross story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The Santa hat or whatever. Yeah. yeah, you wore the Santa hat, yeah. For the old fuzzy wig. And then you, <laughs> the Gordon Bish chick style pills. No, I still remember yeah. that one. Good times. That was when, yeah. Remember when we were in Two Bell Tea Store? No, <laughs> remember when we were in Two Bell Tea Store? Remember that? That one time. <laughs> That's a running gag because every time we get together, they're basically talk about. Remember when we were in Gabby? Well, these new Tidwell Taste Store episodes, you know what they remind me of? The old Tidwell Taste Store. The old ones? <laughs> <laughs> you remember those? God. Alright, Cross. <laughs> That's been good. Yeah, I like that. Wow, that's good. Mm. Bitter for my taste, yeah. but it's good. There's the orange peel in there. one. The 28th of May. It's very, uh, there's peel, orange peel. Okay, so so in homage to the old taste stores, it's very fresh, it's very crisp, crisp, <laughs> fresh, <laughs> clean. It actually is really good though. I like that. It's very I like it fruity. I like it better than the other one. Yeah, me too. I like it less than because it's more. I fresh. certainly like it yeah. less than the other well, Best Buy. Well, yeah. well, oh, well, we Best Buy had this one. The other er, day. So enjoy by. But buy. you know what though? <laughs> you know what the thing about this would be like Best Buy has yeah. beer. All of these are gonna taste different. Because because of the nature of it, yeah. so right, right, sure. Um, I like it. It is more definitely more like hoppy and IPA like than the Christmas uh, one, but it's still really good. Um, with that said, I don't think that it's I don't think it's exceptional like the other one was. So I yeah, like it. I'm not blown away. I was I remember being yeah blown away yeah, by yeah, the December. One. I like it, but it's not my favorite, and I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Rate. What was the December one? What was the flavor of that? It was similar, similar. but... It wasn't as hoppy. It's not yeah. even that, though. It tasted, it had a more, like, richness. It had, like, this richness yeah. to it that this one it kind of does, but kind less of bitter. I mean, this one isn't crazy bitter. And, you know, it's, it's high gravity, so... I'm, I, I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything bad about it. It's just not my taste. That's yeah. all. It's good. It's a really good beer, especially for the, the percentage. I like it. Yeah. Me too. And I, I'm usually not a fan of stone stuff because they're usually so bitter. Stone is notorious for that, at least for me. I mean, I've had like their imperial stouts and stuff. I like. Am I gonna have to get after you? Rate it. What? Rate it. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Oh my God. I got it tastes tasty. kind of um, grapefruity too. Are they, it is a little does grapefruity. Does it say you have a grapefruit on there? Because it tastes grapefruit. What, what are the ingredients? Does it say anything about the ingredients? Mm -hmm. that no, I taste orange peel. Yeah, it tastes like very citrusy. Yeah, yeah it's citrusy. Type thing. I, I remember. I wish I remember what I rated the other one. Now I wish I, I think it was a nine. Pretty, I think you rated it. It was pretty high. Yeah. This it's good. I would recommend it, but it'd be like a seven. I'm gonna say a seven. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm at a six on this. And I'm kind of staggering that also because it's not my style. I'm kind of that. And that has yeah. that has to yeah. play into it because it's not fair. We talked about this before. If you just get something like those, remember the Seagram's one we did recently? The, it's just right. like, yeah. you can't rate that like a nine because it tastes good. It's, it has tons of sugar in it. Of it's course it's going to taste cheap. good. It's, yes. So, this is devastatingly independent, so you got to get points on that. 
What do you think? Uh, 6.5. 6.5, okay. Seven. Seven. All right. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I don't think I'd buy it. It's not to my taste. Um, but I do like, I, I like the citrus act. Yeah, me too. I'm not a huge fan of IPAs. Um, the, citru the citrus in this, um, I don't know, I, it gives a little a kick to it that I like. Yeah, I agree with that. I actually like, in IPAs, I like them to be more citrusy, less just straight up bitter hoppy. Um, yeah. So, okay, so, seven and a half, seven, six and a half? Mm -hmm. Six and a half and I six. Seven. 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 So, okay, two keep sevens, up, keep up with. a six and a half, a six, <laughs> and a seven and a half. Yeah, that seven. is hard. They've got it. They've got it. You guys got it. Everybody good? Did you write it down? We're good. We quiz on this later. So check out the, well, you have to enjoy it by today, but check out the Stone and Joy by July 4th, 2015 IPA. And by Nine. today, it means yesterday or the day before, because this you won't be over like three weeks ago. Yeah. So we'll be back. Thanks for joining us, and join us again.